Hello guys, welcome to the CodeSpace YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how to install and set up Oracle SOA suit into our system. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I'll put this uh, blog link into my description so you can follow this uh, blog post. And uh, yes, so first step is to uh, download Oracle SOA 12C installer. So we will go in this link Okay, you need to open this link and from here you will get uh, our latest version of SOA suit which is 12.2.1.4. Okay, so from here uh, you need to click on this download button. So I'm just clicking on it and uh, you may require, yes, you require a Oracle account. So you, you can create also if you don't have any, Oracle, uh, if you don't have Oracle account, you can create from here. I have already, so I'll I'll pass my uh, credentials. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, as you can see, uh, we are getting this uh, checkbox, and uh, yes, also we need to select our platform. So I am using. Windows, so I'll select Microsoft Windows 64 bit. And uh, yes, now uh, from here, uh, you need to only select uh, this two uh, checkbox uh, because this is for uh, Oracle SOA suit uh, BPM, business process management, uh, and also healthcare support. So yes, I'll, I'll not uh, check this. I'll just uncheck this uh, inbox uh, boxes and I'll, also, I'll only select this two um, zip files okay now I'll click on download okay so it is saying you must accept the Oracle license agreement so as I, I need to I need to uh, click on this I reviewed and accept the Oracle license agreement I need to click on this download button and then uh, as you can see uh, we are getting this uh, executable file so I'm just opening that And uh, yeah, it is asking for password. Uh, sorry, it is asking for path. So I select this and I'll click on next. And as you can see, our uh, zip files are getting downloaded. So uh, let's wait for some minutes. It will take uh, some time. So I'll back. I'll I'll get back when it is completed. Okay. So till it will complete, uh, let's do something which we can do simultaneously. So we need to install JDK. If you don't have JDK in your PC, then you can go into this uh, uh, link and you can download JDK. And then uh, let's see uh, where my JDK is. So uh, I'll have my JDK in, uh, in a Java folder. So users, sorry, program files and in Java, uh, here uh, my JDK. Okay, here is my JDK. So I have two JDK, JDK 1.10 and JDK 11. So yes, um, so uh, I have already downloaded JDK into my system. And then uh, also later we need to uh, set up uh, our JDK uh, installed path, uh, bean path. So let's let's do that. I have already configured Java underscore home environment variable in my variables uh, let me show that so i'll say environment variables and uh, into this environment variables and as you can see in uh, this uh, system variables i have already created one variable which is java underscore home and in that i have just given the jdk path okay uh, this path this path uh, into this variable so if you don't have this uh, variable then you can uh, click on this new and you can give the variable name and variable value okay so this is required uh, uh, this is uh, not much required but yes uh, this is a mandatory if you want to uh, access uh, uh, java from other directory okay if you want to access java from other directory uh, then this is required okay so yes uh, that's why we have uh, set this variable here now uh, Okay, 
now let's do for second one we pass the same folder okay let's wait for this okay so now it is completed so let's go into our folder so as you can see we are getting this two uh, executable jar files okay earlier i downloaded 12213 so at that time also i was uh, getting this two jar files okay so now what we need to do is we need to open this uh, folder into admin mode so i'll i'll go in my cmd and i'll open cmd in a admin mode okay so uh, in some of uh, in some of your system uh, administrator uh, mode is uh, opened but but for me uh, we need i need to select administrator so i also pasted that command here so i'll say net user uh, by this command i can see the users and uh, also i'll pass this command to go in my uh, admin mode okay so i'll activate my administrator mode and as you can see now i am uh, administrate i am i'm in administrator mode so here i'll go in that particular folder so i'll go in this folder so now i am in this oric download folder now what we need to do is uh, okay we also need to uh, pass this uh, command so i'll i'll paste uh, copy this command okay and i'll paste that command here and uh, we need to uh, give this uh, double quotes to this java home variable okay now this is fine let's press enter make sure you have a uh, type proper name fmw underscore 12.2.144 let's confirm yes this is right so as we can as you can see like we are just uh, passing uh, quick start char only right we are not uh, passing quick start to char in this uh, in this command so make sure you type this correctly and let's wait for some seconds it might take some minutes so let's wait for that okay so now it is completed so uh, for me it took around uh, half an hour to complete um, yes so i'll click on this next and i'll click on this finish and uh, this is uh, already checked so our j developer will automatically get started so i'll click on this finish button so let's wait for some seconds uh, this is our j developer okay my battery is getting down so this is my j, uh, our j developer and in this you can create so application uh, in in our next video we will see how to create a default domain and uh, how to you know, you know uh, open our integrated web logic server into uh, uh, from this j developer okay so yes that's it for this video uh, thank you guys and uh, yes i'll put more videos into soa so let's keep uh, uh, watching and uh, stay tuned with me guys thank you